Hello and welcome to episode 12. Um, we're going to start off this episode by doing something that I think a lot of you are going to appreciate. We are going to teleport to Last Man Standing. And yes, this means that we will be finally getting a looting bag. After many, many, many videos of people telling me to get a looting bag, I'm finally going to do it. So before I go ahead with this, I just want to make it clear that I have never done LMS and I have no idea how to actually do it. As far as I'm aware, it's basically just Battle Royale inside RuneScape and I could probably get the grips of that pretty quickly. Um, apparently the only two LMS worlds for pay to play is Aussie and US and obviously I'm English so ping's not going to be amazing but we'll give it a try. US is definitely going to be better than Aussie. So we're going to head over to LMS and we are on 86 ping, oh, 97. It's not not the end of the world, but it can be quite annoying. So we're going to get started with some LMS. Why can't oh, I don't have attack options. Oh my god, I've got attack options. <laughs> so that went really bad. I forgot that I had my attack options off, so I couldn't actually attack anybody. So we're going to give that another try, and yeah, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> oh, and we're in the next one. God, it's been so long since I've hybrided. Holy. It's been a long time. <laughs> it's been so long. Oh my god. This is going to take a little bit of practice. I haven't PvP'd since maybe 2016. I don't actually get rigor in here. That's pretty mad. I'd like to just get one kill. That'd be nice. So we keep trying. Not a big fan of the map. Ah, oh, there we go. Much better. Oops. Oops. <laughs> I'm so bad at this. And this is why I'm a level 3. I cannot PK to save my life. Literally. Holy crap, 61 spec. <laughs> I was not expecting that. And again, just have one fight where I don't just get smacked out straight away. Why did hybrid thing get so crazy? Oops, I clicked on my other screen. I just made this guy run across the map, just for fun. <laughs> oh, I can't do it. Run! <laughs> PJ. I don't want to do PvP. <sighs> I do not like LMS. I 
I'm going to beat anyone, it's going to be this guy. Jesus Christ. I killed someone! Finally! That's only because he was bad, not because I was good. I have no idea how to play this game. Do we get, what do we get from this? Oh, okay. Interesting. Hopefully I'll at least get some points from this so I don't have to do this anymore. Hey, we got two points, so I can actually buy two looting bags. I did want a couple more points than this, but this may take a while. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I still had food. Oh my god, so bad. I've got to be honest, my biggest problem with LMS is the fact that this health bar doesn't change. It looks like it's full, even though you're really low health. I shouldn't rely on this so much, but I do. Well, why is my prowl wrong? I've just realised, oh my god, this whole time I had the wrong prowl. fun. I do not like it. Why are you walking around in circles? <laughs> So, considering I am really not enjoying Last Man Standing, I'm going to look to getting one more kill, so I should get a couple more points, and then I'm going to call it quits from here, because this is not enjoyable for me, I do not enjoy PvP, um, I know that the looting bag is useful, but the idea of this account is to enjoy myself and have fun, and if I'm not enjoying myself, it's not going to be something I want to do. I will have two points, which is two looking bags for the time being. Obviously, I'm going to lose one every time I have to destroy it, which is the issue. But 
like I said, I'm gonna try and get one more kill and then I'll probably cash it in. Punching each other. <laughs> oh, I guess it was funny at least. Yeah, I can tell, buddy. I feel really bad. <laughs> oh, it's oh, it's only LMS. It's not a big deal. Oh, I can get the chest, right? Well, I finally got the second kill, so this is what we're going to just sit on. Well, there you go, I gained another two points. Four points now, that's four looting bags, and I know I should get more points, but I'm really not enjoying this. I don't enjoy PvP, I said this before, and I'll say it again. But I do have four points, which means I can buy four looting bags now, which will be useful for what I am about to do. So, we've hopped back to a British world, and we've got much better ping on this one. And I believe this is the shop. Oh, I need to enter a pin. There we go. Right, so here's all the stuff we can buy, and looting bags should be one point on here somewhere. There it is. So we're going to buy one looting bag. And confirm. And we've still got three points left. So we have the looting bag now, and what we're going to do is head over to Edgeville, and we're going to put all of the untradables that I don't currently need in there, which is basically just the seaweed, uh, the cactus seeds. Uh, actually, that's going to be about it for now, because I want to keep the coins on me, because I might need them. Um, and I'm actually just going to put the spade back in the leprechaun. So here we are in Edgeville. I did originally worry about using the looting bag because I know people camp ultimate iron men by the ditch, but then I realized I'm level 3, which means the only person who can attack me is a level 3 or a level 4, and nobody at that level can one-shot me or even bind me, let alone, you know, like teleport me or anything, so the chance of me dying here is incredibly slim it would be only to my own error so i'm not that worried regarding that now now that i realize so we're just going to hop over here and i'm going to put the seaweed and the cactus seeds in the loading bag for now as i won't be needing them for a while so let's do this i've never actually done this before do i just use them on it okay yep put all them in there and then put all the seaweed in there and there we go I'm pretty sure you can't add um, untradables yeah so you can't put untradables in there so that's about the most I can do regarding space with that we're gonna head over to a leprechaun store off the spade and I'm gonna go to the player in house and store the thieving cape right so we're gonna shove the thieving cape in the house if I could click properly and not misclick so that's gonna go in there then we are also going to drop the arty cloak as we won't be in this for now and we are going to head over to Winter Todd. No, we're not. So I went and stored the cape in the house and then realized that I actually want to do 50 caskets before I move on. So I'm going to grab the feeding cape back out and we're going to head over to the ham hideouts as usual and collect up 50 caskets before we move on. So I'm just doing some clue scrolls and I wanted to make this quick clip regarding something. I know that I said I was going to do 100 clue scrolls by every episode, um, but recently I've noticed this does take quite some time and although I was pre-recorded, um, I'm starting to catch up with all my videos and I'm very concerned that if I stick to the 100 clue scrolls every episode I will not be able to upload weekly anymore. So unfortunately I'm going to be dialing this back a little bit. I'm going to re be reducing it to 50 caskets per episode and this will allow me to get out episodes on schedule. Um, I hope this is okay with you guys. I'm sorry if you're annoyed with me because I'm changing this. I, when I originally set the goal I didn't realize it was going to take so long. Um, the main issue that I have is I have to drop clue scrolls here and there. 
I did originally time myself to see what my average Clue Scroll completion time was, but this didn't take into account, first of all, how long it took me to get the Clue Scroll, and second of all, sometimes I get two steps into a Clue and then have to drop it, which obviously is just completely wasted time. So this time, um, it takes ages, basically, to do Clues sometimes. Uh, like, for example, today, I had to drop four, four Clues in a row, which was a waste of, like, nearly half an hour of time collecting them, dropping them, collecting them, dropping them, etc. So, yeah, so I'm going to be dialing it back to 50 per episode. Once again, um, I'm very sorry to anyone who's annoyed, um, but I will be opening the 1,000 caskets once I finish them. Um, I'm not sure when that will be yet. Obviously, if I get 250 on this episode, then, you know, we've got 750 left to go, um, which is, what, 15? 15, 15 days? So, maybe like episode 20 something. Um, we, we will work that out eventually. Um, but I would like your guys' feedback on whether you're okay with this uh, or if you can offer a different alternative. But to be quite honest, if I stuck to 100 clues per episode, I would not be able to make an episode a week. Apologies for the ramble. I tend to do that a lot. But I'm going to head on with these clue scrolls and I'm going to finish up 250. And then we are going to move on to something that people probably wanted me to do for a long time and that is Winter Todd. And that wraps up the 250th casket and um, we're going to now head over to do some Winter Todd as I know many people will be happy to finally see this. Uh, I do apologise though because you're basically going to see two episodes of two different series doing the exact same thing. It's going to be Winter Todd on both accounts. I didn't plan it to be this way. Um, I'm sorry if that's kind of annoying. I'm going to try not to do too much Winter Todd on the other account because I don't want to just spam you um, with the same content. I like to try and vary it up a little bit. So we're going to get some gear up and we're going to make our way over there. As we're currently in Drena, I figured that it might actually be a really good idea to go to Diango and we should be able to claim one of the uh, Santa sets. I'm going to take the anti-Santa one because I like it. Um, I'm just going to wear the whole outfit and this should work as warm clothing. Uh, according to the wiki this counts so this is what I'm going to use. Um, I'm going to put that on and I'm actually just going to go store all the graceful in the house because I'm not really going to be needing it. So we're going to go store this in the house and the thieving cape. Uh, we're going to put the spade back in the leprechaun and then we're going to go prepare some food for Winter Todd. So I'm just joined by Tankies who I believe has been trying to find the world that I was on. Uh, he said he wanted to donate a bond. Um, Tanky has been on my friend list for a while now, so I really do appreciate it, buddy. Um, <laughs> it's funny, just me continuously hopping and watching you try and catch up with me. But thank you, my dude. Um, as always, it's really helpful. I'm just going to put thanks. That was really delayed, sorry. But you're probably going to watch the video so you understand that I was talking. And I can't multitask, so... But, yeah, so I was just collecting up this food for Winter Todd. Um, that quickly. Sorry buddy, I just need to get stuff done. Um, collecting up all the food for Winter Todd. I was going to get pineapples, but um, potatoes actually heal more per invent slot on the basis that I can carry 10 HP in one slot, and pineapples only give you 8. So, oh, we need to empty these. Um, so that was why I chose to do potatoes. Um, I might switch to pineapples later. They are a little bit easier to buy because I can buy 15 per world rather than the 5 that I get with potatoes. But we're going to give it a few tries. Um, and we'll see how it goes. So we just wrapped up 598 potatoes, just short of 600. Um, we're going to head up to Winter Todd now. I was going to get 1,000, but as I learned from the other account, I way overestimated that, and I figured even if I do need more than this, I can always come back and get some more. It's not that big of a deal, um, but it takes a while to stock these up, so I don't want to get too many, because otherwise I'll be here for ages and just wasting my time, exactly. Um, so we're going to run up to Winter Todd now. And we're going to get started on trading some more fire making. Right, now that we have everything ready for our Winter Todd, we can get started on the grind. Unfortunately, there's someone in this world, so I'm going to hop around, find a world, and start some fire making. So I just got 51 fire making, but I completely missed it because I wasn't paying attention. Uh, but there we go, 51. I'll try and get the rest on video, and uh, no promises because I'm very bad at staying uh, attentive to my levels. But we'll see how that goes. So I just got 52 fire making. Uh, I didn't get it recorded because I was trying not to die. I was on 2 HP and the, the uh, Winter Dog can actually hit me too. So I prioritised eating over getting the uh, recording. But nonetheless, there's 52 fire making done. I'll try and get the future ones. 
So this might be really newbie of me, but um, I had to quickly go AFK for a bit and it re resulted in me logging off. Um, I logged off by the doors, I, I didn't leave the Winterstot area and I thought that would retain my points. Um, apparently I lo lost all my points, so all the work that I did in the previous run is gone. I'm not going to get the rewards from that. Um, I will know this for future now, I will not let myself log off while I'm in Winterstot. Which is a bit annoying because it means if things pop up, I, I have to stick to this, or at least keep myself logged in, I suppose. Um, but yeah, so apparently you lose all your points if you log out during Winter Todd. I did not realise that. So due to that calamity of having to reset the run, um, I've got hardly any food. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't realise that I lost all my points until I started setting the run back up. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm actually just going to use up the last of this food to try and finish off this run. Hopefully I've, I can survive. Um, if it keeps going out, not so good. I'm going to try and finish off this run. I'm going to get a really bad reward. I'll probably just open it straight away, maybe drop most of it because it's going to be like four rolls. Um, and it's just going to be a waste of inventory space. For the future, I'm going to be stacking up a few crates in here and once I've got maybe like four or so, I will go to Edgeville and I will put most of the stuff in the looting bag. The reason I'm doing this is because I'm actually going to keep some of the items out if, I, if, it, if they're items that I plan to use after Winter Todd, because that way it saves me having to get a new looting bag and I'll already have the stuff for it. And as you'd have seen earlier in the episode, I did LMS for the looting bag and I don't really want to go back there, so wherever I can save wasting a looting bag, I will do. So miraculously, it looks like I might actually be able to finish this run. I've got 3% left, no food, and I'm on 6 HP but I take a lot less damage when it's really low, so we're hoping I can get the last bit of damage, drop that down to zero without dying. And there we go. Oh, and we get 56 fire making. So we finished that run with 3,000 points, obviously, because of what I explained. Unfortunately, uh, it's just noob me, basically. <laughs> I didn't realize that I'd lose my points, but we're going to open up this and get... Actually, that's more than four rolls. That is... Quite a lot of rolls actually. So we're going to give this a shot and open this up. And yeah, not great stuff. Um, hmm. I might go and store this in the looting bag and then try and do this properly. So we just come to the Edgefield ditch. Like I said before, I'm not too worried that people will be able to attack me because like no one can attack this account anyway. So we're just going to stand here. We are going to put the maple logs in the bag. Quams, dwarf weeds, taramins, uncut diamonds, and the uncut rubies. So now we have. Let's have a look. These are all the stuff in the bag. I did put these in before. I can't remember if I recorded it or not. But I shoved these in the bag. Um, we got all the stuff in there. So we're gonna head back to Winter Todd and hopefully do it right this time. I don't remember getting a knife. Don't know why I have a knife. Um, anyway, so we're gonna head back to Winter Todd. And we're going to try and do it right this time. So we're just wrapping up this run. Um, you may have noticed the previous like clips. Uh, my mouse is a bit messed up. It only fixes if I do this. I don't know why it goes like that. Um, but yeah, that explains that. You know, sometimes it's really hard to finish a run because the phrases just go out instantly and sometimes I'm just running backwards and forwards because I want to finish it quick. So I try and like both brazers and they're just out straight away. It can get so annoying, but that should do it. It's 1% left and run complete. There we go, run complete, 6.2K XP. Finish with 13.9K points and we're gonna get ready for another run. So this just happened, um, I was doing Winter Todd and I got stacked out by the Brazier breaking um, and then I got hit by Winter Todd and I also got hit by something else, not sure what it was but I lost like 6 health at once, I was not expecting that to happen and I died. So I'm going to have to go back to Winter Todd now, um, I was almost finished with the run as well and that means I've lost all my points, which sucks. Um, I'm going to go collect my stuff, I think I'm going to take a break from Winter Todd for the time being and try and do some other stuff. Yeah, this has actually really kind of annoyed me, to be honest, <laughs> because I was so close to finishing that run and I would have got a whole load of supplies from it. But I do have one chest which should still be on the floor if, if that's where it actually stays. I'm pretty sure it stays on the floor. Um, so I'm going to go pick that up. 
And it would probably mean I have to go get another looting bag. Oh, a lamp. Okay, I'll take the genie. That's uh, made things slightly better. Not, not as annoyed anymore. But I'm going to go grab that stuff and we're going to see where we go from there. So I just got back to Winter Todd. We're going to quickly have a look and see if I can get all my stuff back. My death pal should be over here. Somewhere. Oh, there it is. And there we go. We got all our stuff back. Unfortunately, it does mean I lose all the points, like I said before. So I'm actually going to call it quits on Winter Todd for now. We're going to head over to Edgeville and open up this crate. And I'm also going to go grab another looting bag. So we're here in Edgeville. I'm just going to equip these iron arrows for space. And we're going to put the ruby ring on. I'm going to move that down there. And hopefully not accidentally open them. Um, keep the C books over here. Don't need the hammer anymore. Uh, we're going to put all this stuff in the looting bag. I'm going to get rid of all of these potatoes because I'm not too bothered about holding the sacks for now. I'm probably going to keep hold of the noted stack of potatoes because I will go back to Winter Todd in a short period of time and I don't want to have to keep hopping whilst to get potatoes again because that was kind of annoying. Um, so we're going to now stash all of this stuff in the looting bag and there's that stuff stored in the looting bag. We're now going to open up this chest and see what we can get from the Winter Todd run that we did actually finish. Not bad. We're going to stash this all in the looting bag and then I think we're going to wrap up this episode. So before we wrap up this episode I wanted to quickly mention that I'm going to keep these items on me. The uncut gems, uh, I'm going to drop these guam leaves because honestly I'm never going to use them anyway. And I'm going to keep the gold ore because what I'm going to do in the beginning of the next episode is I'm going to make all of this into jewellery and I'm just going to sell it to the shop in Port Serem. There's no point using up the space in the looting bag and there's not that many anyway. Plus, the crafting XP is really nice. But with all that said, we're going to end off this episode here. Um, I want to apologise for the fact that this has been a bit of a lacklustre episode. Um, it didn't go very well. I died at Winter Todd, and then the other run, I messed it up. Um, and obviously, you'd have seen my poor attempt at PK at the beginning. I hope that's at least humorous for some of you. Um, I'm really not very good at PK. Also, once again, I'm sorry to reduce the clue scrolls to 50 per episode. This is just so I can get the episodes out on time. Otherwise, you guys would be waiting longer for episodes, and I don't want to do that. I don't, I'd like to think you guys don't want me to do that either. So I'm going to be doing as much as I can. 50 clue scroll caskets per episode, and hopefully we should have the 1,000 during somewhere in the um, 20s of the episodes. So that should be good. And... With all that said, um, as usual, if you're enjoying the series and you haven't subscribed yet, please click the button. It helps out a lot. The likes, again, always, always appreciated. You guys give me way more love than I ever deserve. And lastly, if you want to follow me on Twitter, if you use Twitter, um, head over there. The Twitter will be in the end screen at the top left. So if you want to follow me on there, I greatly appreciate that as well. I do post out updates. Um, anything to do with upcoming episodes or any reason why an episode might be delayed will be on there so if you want to stay up to date follow me on twitter with all that said i will see you guys in the next episode